cut my hair five months ago and it's already long enough to put in my Minnie Mouse buns. Okay. Kim here and happy Wednesday! The middle of the week and that means I'm going to give you my top five things for top five Wednesday for the Wednesday of the day that is the day that is today. I should really consider scripting videos. Top 5 Wednesday is a Goodreads group, I'll leave the linky link in the description down below and it's basically where they give you a topic and you name your top 5 favorite things or least favorite things about, you know, the topic. Usually it's book related but this week's is a little unbook related and that's okay. The top 5 fandoms that I am no longer in. That's right, these are the things that I used to be crazy excited about and I am now just moderately interested in. I really kind of sort of reflect on this semi-often. I just sometimes think, oh, I used to be so into that and now I'm not. I wonder why. Or I, sometimes I know why. And sometimes I don't know why. And sometimes, I don't know, sometimes you grow out of things and oh, shut up. Just talk about it. Just so you know, my top five Wednesdays are never really in an order. I just name them. It's not like a ranking sort of thing. These are the things that I just love and or hate equally, probably. Fandoms I am no longer in. Number one, Doctor Who. Oh, I forgot my tiny TARDIS. Tiny TARDIS. Better. Before you all like click dislike and run away screaming, I used to be super, super into Doctor Who. In fact, I take credit for getting my entire family hooked on Doctor Who. You're welcome, family. However, I stopped watching the show not that long after Matt Smith joined the cast. And frankly, it has nothing to do with Matt Smith, and it has nothing to do with What's-Her-Face that plays Amy Pond, even though I totally hated Amy Pond as a character. I think it really boils down to Stephen Moffat's writing. When Moffat became the regular writer for the show, I just really, like, felt the shift, and I didn't dig it. And I held on for a real long time, and then I just was like, you know, this show just lacks the magic that it had for me before he was the regular writer. And and that's a shame. And I, I hate to admit that because it's such a cool premise and I still wish I were a Time Lord. But like, I, it just is a thing that happened. My camera's gonna die. I hope that's the same angle I was at earlier. <laughs> what was I even talking about? Doctor Who. Their formula of each episode can kind of stand on its own until you get to like the season finale where things sort of tie together and it's really cool because it's connected but you didn't really realize it was connected to more of a you have to watch every single episode or you're gonna be totally lost kind of thing. Like that makes sense for marketing purposes but I didn't like it for the show. I liked that I could pick one of the episodes and watch it and not need to know anything else other than he's a time lord that time travel. I also feel like the characters kind of shifted and the storylines kind of shifted when Moffat started writing that I it just wasn't my cup of tea. I stopped watching about halfway through Matt Smith's first season. I just was like this isn't my show anymore. <sighs> Number two is Game of Thrones. I was very into Game of Thrones in like um 2009, 2010, around that time when the books were not very old. The TV show wasn't even thought of at that point and I really really liked the books. They were downers. Like don't get me wrong that is not uplifting content but man is it entertaining and gripping and you just get really really engrossed with those characters and things. Actually semi-impressed with the TV show. I thought they followed along with the books pretty well which just goes to show that I think books should really be made into very good television shows instead of movies so that you can do it right. It had been so long since I'd read the books and I wasn't going to continue reading because Dance with Dragons wasn't even out yet and I was like I don't have time to read the first four books again because those are chunkers and so I exited the Phantom which is a shame but that's what happened. <laughs> Number three is My Little Pony. Okay, I still actually really like My Little Pony. I just don't have the time to watch it. I grew up on the original Generation 1 My Little Pony TV show. I loved it. The one with Megan and Dreamcastle and all that stuff. Loved it, loved it, loved it. When they introduced Friendship is Magic, I was very skeptical. I was like, man, this is a totally different design artistically. The story is completely different from what like I grew up with. Then I watched it. 
holy crap did I fall in love with it. If I had a child, boy or girl, they'd be watching that show. Love what they did with it. I like the art style. The theme song starts the same way. My little pony. Yeah, hi, that's the same from the 80s. I used to run to McDonald's when the toys were in the Happy Meals. I used to buy them at the store and get the little mystery baggies for the really little ones. And I used to have them all over my shelves. And I still have little badges on my happy board in the other room with like Twilight Sparkle and Rainbow Dash and Pinkie Pie and all of it. I really, really liked it and I really, really love the characters and things. Ugh. Life. Life got in the way. I just don't have the, the time and I kind of hate that sometimes, but it's good because like I'm working. That's good, but you know, I kind of miss a little. But that is a great show and if I ever get a little extra time, I'll probably be watching it again. <laughs> in college, I was actually a part of the Brony Club. Number four is How I Met Your Mother. I was really into that show. I really liked the storytelling style. The episodes never really go from point A to point B. It's always like played about. I love the narration. I liked the characters and I really, really liked it. Then the last season happened. It really felt like they dragged that thing out as long as possible on purpose. I still haven't watched the last episode. I was spoiled and so I know what happens and so I didn't really care. Oh man. I really, really wanted him to meet her at the beginning of the last season and show them dating a little bit. That was what I was really hoping was gonna happen and then at Big Fat didn't. They just dragged out Barney and Robin's wedding for a whole freaking year. I do not have the intention to relive the same day a hundred different ways. It was like a really bad spinoff of Groundhog Day. It was exhausting. I didn't like the choices that were made. You guys, are you that desperate for a storyline? Number five is going to sound really shameful and quite contradictory based on my favorite books, but it's Lord of the Rings. I love the books. I love the books. I friggin' hate the movies. Here's where it's weird because I saw The Fellowship of the Ring before I read any of the books. That movie made me want to read the books, which is super duper, and so I will always love that movie for that very reason. I see Fellowship of the Ring, and then I go home and binge read the entire series, and then The Two Towers finally comes out, and I hated it. I didn't like what Peter Jackson did with the story. I thought he really took some liberties that he just was in no position to take. I'm not gonna lie, I felt really betrayed by those movie adaptions. It killed the fandom for me. And it's so sad because they actually cast it really well and it looks really pretty. Oh, I, ugh. I was really, really into it just on like the book end for a really long time. And then they announced The Hobbit. Okay, here's an opportunity. And then they announced Peter Jackson was doing it. And I put the kibosh right on it. As soon as they announced that Peter Jackson was doing The Hobbit, I checked out completely. Why they felt the need to make the shortest book three movies is beyond me. I could really get in a whole like raging video about that, but I won't right now. I still to this day have not seen any of the Hobbit movies. I'm just gonna keep my Tolkien books with me wherever I go and we're just gonna stick with those and we're just we're gonna leave it. That's gonna be it. Those are the top five fandoms I'm not a part of anymore. Some of them I'm a little bummed about and other ones you don't let the door hit you on the way out. Wow. I'm a jerk. <sighs> I'm a nice lady. <laughs> Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. It gets ranty, apparently. Thanks for watching!